We're at New Fira Stadium in Snuffalo, home of the thrills. Ah, it sure does get cold here in Snuffalo. Did you know that when the NFL first started, its very first season, a Snuffalo player suffered a high quarters ass capitation? Yeah, it was it was seven when it was tackled and, and it froze before it hit the ground. And thus the saying was born to freeze one owns ass up. Let's play some football. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Grim Bay Attackers battle. The Snuffle Thrills. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down greased street poles and eating all you can eat horse shit buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. And it's first and ten. That's a nice catch for five yards. Second down and five. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Crusher right there, folks. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down. And then Cats will give him a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. and four. And the defense was reading him like a book. Like it was written in Braille, Grim. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Pow, with the brain scrambler. Second down and a lot. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Second down and long. Oh, with the 
brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. time when it's your time to go it's your time and it's first and ten that pass by next them seven yards oh no i got the hiccups again what are you supposed to do to you stick it in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop him. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta, uh... <clears throat> Like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed, it was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. Third down and ten. Oh, and the lineman bats the ball away with his meaty paw for an incomplete pass. Great play. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. It. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. That's a catch for a four-yard game. Second down and six. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, he just got crushed. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the rep didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now.
It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. And it's first and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> that's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And it's first and ten. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. It's about a three-yard pickup. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That yeah, was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? got popped big time. Oh my god, I thought his head was gonna pop off like a big zit. And it's first and ten. He just, oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. Second down and ten. Dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. That's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth thrown out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Grass and Tell Them Something You Need to Watch Yourself. That's unique. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Runs it for three. Second down and seven. 
He broke free and has open field in front of him. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And he runs out of gas and got tackled short of the goal line. Hell of a run, though. Uh, lunch and stamina happens to a lot of guys, Grim. Uh, at least that's what I hear. And it's first and ten. for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, with the brutal hit! And it's first and ten. for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. And he, oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. remain in the half. Great! I gotta take a dump! Again? You just went. How is that even possible? Ah, it's the nachos, man! Want some? And the quarterback throws another pick! He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. First and ten. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well, the offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. Second down and seven. And the defense gets... And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. First and ten. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. That pass 
was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. Second down and 10. First down. Looks like they're just gonna. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Uh, same as Brits' ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! I'm a house killer on Zilla. I am a killer on Zilla. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. First down! He was not going to drop that one. With the vicious kill! Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And he held on to that one for a first down. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. He is fighting for every yard. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Third down in forever. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, heading him a pickup of about... Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Oh, the player's favorite. And up comes the most underrated position in football. The mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got a chance for a good return here. This guy's a brick shit house. And he finds open space 
He's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And it's first and ten. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. Second down and ten. Third down and, well, good luck. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburn. He refuses to go down. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. He should apply for the Mutant Volleyball League. Hey, uh, don't give the fans any ideas. The commission already spends all day on Twitter shooting down rumors. Second down and ten. Hot three. Okay. passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. Third down and nine. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this on here. The return man catches the ball and heads up field. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. QB says, I don't almost throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game is on the line. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that, Grim. And they line up for the extra point. team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. First and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. 
He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down and nine. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. They're moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. Gets the 
ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First down and one. I don't know if he even had a target on that throw. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Briggs. Very smart. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? The offense is lining up to go for it on fourth down. And the defense is looking for a stop or a death. Either will work, but they prefer the kill. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Hey, man, nobody can touch you with that ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot Caught for the first down. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot three. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The offense is no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Hot one, hot two, three. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? First down and three. Hot. Hot one. And then put six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, man. You mean aside from priming the ref, kill the quarterback, or actually playing some D? And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my head. It was a chip wearing a wig.
and it's first and ten. Oh man, he really wants it. Bam! Say good night to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And an eight yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. And the defense gets another pick. Man, Rubel with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. A first down. He was not going to drop that. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And the passing game picking up some steam, a gain of seven there. Holy smokes, he just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. Second and first time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. And that, ladies and mutants, is how you recover an onside kick. And it's first and ten. Not around. Oh, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Second down and ten. He made, oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. The offense.
offense is down to their final receiver. They'll be playing shorthanded for the rest of the game. Uh, and if they lose him, will they have to forfeit? Uh, talk about pressure. I'm going to have to take the value before this one ends. Hey, y'all been out on me. First down and five. for a touchdown. Wow, this is just horrible to watch. And it looks like he's malfunctioning. Someone help him. He's just dancing, Bricks. Still probably better than I could. The offense must forfeit the game because all their quarterbacks are dead. There's no one left to throw the ball, so this game is over. Wow, that's one way to win a game. Kill all the players on the opposing team. Eh, don't seem fair, Grim. Hey, life's not fair, dipshit. But it's not kicking in the head, it's kicking in the balls. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. Hot one. And he'll throw that one out of bounds. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. game should be their bread and butter. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And the Snuffle Frills snuff out the opposition and win it home by forfeit. There's not much left of the opposition and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Newton Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every year.